Hey folks, Review and Mick Review Face coming back at you, and today we got ourselves something spicy. All right, so I've got a package here from my sister in Germany. She sent me something from the Crazy Bastard Sauce Company. I can say bastard now because I've been demonetized. I don't know if bastard would be something that would get you cut in the old days. Don't have to worry about that anymore. So we can freely talk about this package. It's come from Germany. It is obviously a hot sauce, but uh, we're gonna crack into it and just see exactly what's in here and exactly how hot it is. According to this, it's got a 100 milliliter bottle of sauce, some spice mix, some salt, and a t-shirt and bag. All right, so let's crack into this and see what we've got. I've got my trusty X-Acto knife here. You know, you cut away from yourself, kids. Always be safe with knives. And I would know, probably can't see it, but I got a good notch on that thumb from uh, playing with a cigar cutter. All right, so here we go. And inside our box, what do we got? Oh, we got some goodies. Let's check it out. We've got, oh, we got some, uh, some stickers. Some crazy bastard stickers. All sorts of different stickers there, that's very cool. Home of Berlin's multi-award winning hot sauce. Oh, so it's actually a restaurant in Berlin that serves this crazy bastard sauce. Small batch, hot sauce, two-time World Hot Sauce Award winner, handmade in Berlin. And here are all the different hot sauces they do. We have ourselves here the crazy bastard sauce bag. Crazy bastard t-shirt. We have a crazy bastard face. Woo! Crazy bastard face. Little pin. Packaging. Oh, packaging. Packaging. I'll make sure I don't accidentally toss a bottle as I do that. We have got the crazy bastard sauce scotch bonnet and Caribbean spices. I think I've got the, uh, like, their entire stock, their, their entire store is in this. We've got the crazy bastard sauce chipotle and pineapple. I don't have to say crazy bastard every time, do I? I'm going to. Crazy bastard sauce habanero and tomatilla. We've got the Trinidad scorpion and clementine. The Carolina reaper and blueberry. Cayenne and Cajun. The jalapeno and date. Still more stuff in here. Notice well, you shouldn't have. This is too nice. All right, we've got the uh, mulatto chipotle and naga salt mix. My arm's getting untired from doing all this unwrapping. Yellow habanero infused chili salt. And yes, everything else, thankfully we've gotten to the bottom of the box. The rest of it is just packaging. Take a look here. Now, according to these, the mildest is the jalapeno and date. Then the scotch bonnet. Okay, the scotch bonnet is one of the milder ones. That's scary. The chipotle and pineapple is next. The habanero and tomatilla is in the middle. That's scary. The Trinidad scorpion. And then the Carolina Reaper and Blueberry is the hottest. And then this special edition Cayenne and, uh, Cayenne and Cajun Spices um, is not on the listed card, but uh, it does have a two. So that would put it right about there. And then we've got our salts, our, oh good, I, it's in German. Let's see if I can read German. Get rocket. Chili flocken. Chili flocken. Okay, so that's just ground up bits of chili pepper. Chipotle and Naga peppers. Ooh, that would be deadly. We're gonna put that one aside for right now. The yellow habanero infused chili salt. Ooh, that sounds like it'll be a, that'll be a winner too. I'm not gonna break open all of these bottles because I don't want to open them up and then not be able to consume them by the time they go bad. We gotta open these slowly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open three. We're gonna start off with the mild, the jalapeno and date, and we're gonna go to the middle, the chipotle and pineapple. And then we are going to taste the craziest of the crazy bastard sauces. That's right, the Carolina Reaper and blueberry. Now you'll notice I don't have any chips or tacos or bread or water. No, that's not how we taste things on the Reviewing Mick Review Face channel. How do you taste a hot sauce on the Reviewing Mick Review Face channel? Let me show you. You take said hot sauce, which is a gourmet chili sauce, Hadmachen in Berlin. I'm sorry to my, anyone watching from Germany. I'm gonna try and pronounce some of your words, but I can't do it. So we're gonna just crack this guy open here. 
Now this is red onions, charleston pepper, jalapeno chilies, white wine vinegar, dates, poblano chilies, cayenne chilies, limes, garlic, olive oil, coriander, and sea salt. Which sounds quite lovely. Let's give it a... Ooh. I don't smell the date. I definitely smell the jalapeno. It's nice. It's really nice. Like, what it reminds me of is, as a kid, we used to go to hockey games and my mom would get nachos. And you know, those terrible old 80s style nachos, the round chips, the day glow orange cheese, but she would get them to layer on a layer of jalapenos. And at that point, spice was unknown to me. And I would watch her eat those jalapenos on her chips at a hockey game and just be in wonder that someone could handle that amount of heat. And this smell, that slightly vinegary jalapeno smell, oh, that brings back memories. That's old school and I like it. So it smells nice. It looks nice. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Oh, that's very nice. Much milder than I was expecting. The flavor of jalapeno and the sweetness of date without a lot of, there's basically no heat to that at all. That's a delightful sauce. If you want to introduce somebody to the world of hot sauce and they are a chili chicken, this is where you go because this has beautiful flavor and really almost no heat. It is the mildest sauce in the range. They say naturally sweet and complex with a well-balanced blend of three different peppers. Delightful, lovely, not gonna burn your face off. Now we're gonna go to the middle here to the chipotle and pineapple. This is a medium heat sauce inspired by the Mexican dish, tacos al pastor, sweet pineapple and smoked dried chipotle. Oh, I love smoked chipotle. Wait, all chipotle smoked. Never mind. Give it a rich and robust flavor, making it a perfect barbecue and grill sauce. Give that a little shake. Give it a crack. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, got a little on my nose. I want to get it up my nose. That's a bad idea. Buttery, smoky. Do I get a pineapple? I don't know if I get a pineapple scent off of this one. What else does this have in it? It's got onions, bell peppers, pineapple, white wine vinegar, chilies, uh, red jalapeno, and bird's eye, lime, chipotle flakes, olive oil, and salt. That's a nice one. This one I think is probably going to be good like as a, along with some chips. This is going to put some on my finger here, just so you can see that I am actually using a significant amount. Not a crazy amount, but a significant get them out. There's enough there to taste it. Here we go. Okay, this will go great on chicken. There's definitely, it's not a lot, there's a little tingle, but not crazy. Like you're not gonna burn your face off again here. I think I can even get a little bit more of that. Whoa, there we go. Let's get some chunks in there. Okay, I got pineapple now. Yeah, a little bit of chunkiness of the pineapple. Oh, there we go. We got a little bit more of the spice. I just got the sauce last time. You gotta get the chunks to get the flavor. It's got a nice burn. It's a nice light tingle but it's heavy on the flavor. Now that spice lingers. It's still here. It's still there. It's not killing me. It's not giving me the forehead sweats, but it's there. It's present. And if that's three and that's one, and this is five plus, I think I'm a little scared of this one. Just a little. This one might be a challenge. I just want to say if, if this sauce does kill me, Lisa, well done. You know, I am, I'm a self-professed hot sauce junkie. So if I was gonna die, if I was gonna go out on a bottle of hot sauce, that's not a bad way to go. So this is the Crazy Bastard Carolina Reaper and Blueberry. They say this is the notorious Carolina Reaper chili, makes it even hotter than the red label, but with a different type of burn. It's like getting a tattoo on your tongue. A delicious blueberry flavored tattoo. <laughs> There's a reason I think that these people are called calling themselves crazy bastards. A very, very hot chili sauce with a slow building burn. Uh, this is sweet peppers, onion, white wine vinegar, apples, blueberries, Carolina Reaper peppers. 6% of this sauce is Carolina Reaper. Bird's eye chilies, lime, olive oil, and sea salt. I'm sweating even thinking about this one. Okay, I can't smell it from there. That's always a good sign. Oh, this smells like pain. You ever smelled a hot sauce and just known this is a not a good idea? This is gonna hurt you. You're gonna regret it. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon for, and for the rest of your life. That right there, this is going to be the end of me. I'm pretty sure this will be the end of me, but uh, I had a good run. Uh, this is a little runnier, but I know that if I just go like this, someone will accuse me of not actually taking any into my mouth. So I wanna show you that yes, there is a significant amount. I gotta get some chunks. There's some chunks there. All right, there's some chunkage. Wish me luck. Oh, I shouldn't have chewed it. Oh, I shouldn't have chewed it. Okay, no, survivable. For the first five to 10 seconds, it's survivable, but it's building. It's still a good flavor. I like the blueberry. The blueberry is very nice. It's hot, but you know what? It's, um, 
Okay, it's hot and it's building, it's still building. I'm starting to go a little numb though, so that's nice. But it's not, you know how some of those hot sauces that are just made for pain and that's it. There's no flavor, there's no complexity, there's no, no artistry in the hot sauce. The, the burn is lingering, but it's not killing me. And it's nice. It's like, I can't describe it. It's definitely hot. I'm definitely sweating. You can see the glisten starting up here. I get the head sweats when I eat hot food. So it's definitely there, but it's not killing me, which means I'm gonna do this. Cheers. Uh. Oh! Okay, that's more instant. Uh, I got it on my lips. That was dumb. Okay, now. That was about a teaspoonful. Oh yeah, and it's... Oh, it's good, but it's burning. Oh yeah. Oh, now it's the, the burn where when you close your mouth it hurts, but then when you open your mouth it hurts, and it's on my tongue and on my lips. Oh yeah, I can take it. They're getting a tattoo on your tongue, they said. That's uh, oh, and it's burning all the way down. It's hit my stomach now, and I've got a hot streak right here. I feel like I'm breathing heavy. Like I just run. I'm sweating, oh, I'm really sweating. Okay, but it's common. Now it's uh, uh, it's hot, but it's still good flavor, even in the pain. There is pain. It's not the worst pain I've ever felt. It's not stupid hot for the sake of just killing you, but it's there. Well, then I'm gonna ride it out. So some lovely hot sauces. If you're in the Berlin area, they are located, visit our shop on Wasserstrasse 168, Nuckel, Nuckeln, Berlin. It has everything you could possibly want from the mildest, most delicate flavor enhancer right up to the kick you in the tonsils and light your face on fire. And I'm gonna enjoy every drop of these. Lisa, thank you so much for sending me a little taste of the spicy side of Berlin. But hey, I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm just telling you my review. I'm reviewing McReview Face. If you're in the Berlin area, feel free to go check out Crazy Bastard Sauce, but they do ship to Canada too. Keep that in mind. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button down there. And I will see you next review if my tongue stops burning. Whew. Is that the lights or is it just really hot in here? I think it's the lights.